What's up everyone, TITH talking. In the last years, the budget and mid-range smartphones market has been getting more and more flooded with different products. There is so much variety that we find ourselves scratching our heads trying to find the phone that best fits our needs. Have you been wondering which Samsung A-series smartphone best fits your needs? Then get ready to get these and other questions you might have answered. Because you're watching the first episode of Galaxy A-series Explained. Welcome to the series in which every episode has a different phone and the goal will always be to define the audience that each phone is targeted at. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want to be notified when the next episodes drop. In this episode, we're going to address the memorable Samsung Galaxy A10. It was launched around February 2019 and its size is 75.6 per 155.6 per 7.9 mm. Although it's older than Galaxy A01, it belongs to a higher series, so it might be better. Check the previous episode and learn more about the cheap and powerful Galaxy A01. Galaxy A10 weights 168 grams, which is great. It weights the same as Galaxy A01. As long as it's under 200 grams, it isn't heavy. It's made from plastic, definitely not a premium material, but it's totally predictable given the price range. The screen has 6.1 inches, so it's actually a little bigger than the one in Galaxy A01. It is an LCD IPS. Note that AMOLED screens won't appear until you pass the 200 euros mark. The proportion of the screen is 19 per 9 and the resolution is 720 per 1520 pixels, so it's an HD plus screen. As said before, Full HD screens won't appear until around the 250 euros mark. When it comes to pixel density, it has 271 ppi, which could be better. Not only is less than Galaxy A01, but also doesn't reach the 300 ppi mark. So this is not a model I advise for people who value a lot the screen visual experience. As you've noticed by now, this is a Samsung entry-level smartphone, and as such, corners had to be cut. In terms of processing, we have the Samsung Exynos 7 Octa 7884, and it scores around 88,000 in N22. It's a low-end processor, so don't expect nothing incredible. It has 2GB of RAM, which is not enough if you ask me. I consider 4GB the minimum for a great multitasking experience. With a smartphone you'll be able to do simple tasks like calling and texting people. But don't expect to be able to load heavy games or take photos with amazing processing speeds. About storage, it has 32GB, which is more than in Galaxy A01, and will allow you to install a considerable number of apps. The SD card slot is there as well, so you'll be able to move files, preventing the phone from getting full and slowing down. It has the audio jack and radio FEM. But there is no fingerprint sensor, no NFC, and no portrait sensor as well. We have a 3400 mAh battery, which will probably be enough for the simple tasks this phone is designed for. But if you want it to last the whole day, I recommend 4000 mAh. And of course, there is no fast charging. When it comes to the camera, this smartphone is definitely not targeted for people who want to take brilliant photos. The results will be fine during daylight hours, but do not expect good photos during night. To summarize, the upsides of this phone are memory, battery and weight. The downsides are camera and screen. And that's all for today's episode of Galaxy A series explained. Comment down below if you still have any doubts. I'm TITH and I see you next time.